Uh, this video is going to be a follow-up to my original video that I did on the Basin 36 from the North Face. So I want to do a compare and contrast the different bag that I have that is like a super deluxe model that is just too much for day hikes. I wanted something that had good features and was still capable, but I didn't need this deluxe bag. You'll see why. So this bag has two main pockets. There's the main compartment pocket that has a double zipper into the main compartment, right? This is where you're gonna get a majority of your storage. This smaller pocket here only has one zipper. It only opens one direction. And it literally is only a few inches deep. It's only like four inches deep. You can't fit a lot of stuff in it does have a key attachment or whatever else you want to attach to it. I don't really like the design of that. It's got this really wimpy carry handle too. Look at how thin the carry handle is. Like this is supposed to be the biggest model they have at 36 liters. There's two other smaller models and look how flimsy this is. It also has some things that I'm not quite sure what it's for. There's this thing here which tightens something. I don't know what it's exactly for. It tightens up. I, I think this is for your trekking poles, so I think it's what it's for, but I'm not really sure. It does have this kangaroo pocket, which is nice because it gives you easy access, say for like your hat and your gloves. It's got a water bottle pocket on each side. It does have these small pockets here, which are clutch because they don't have a lot of space in this small pocket. So these are good for items that you want to reach to real fast. I put my keys and my chapstick in one and I have a multi-tool and a flashlight in the other. You could put more stuff in there, but I put uh, uh, my other kit stuff in the small pocket, which takes up the whole space. So you see these red tabs, there's three of them. There's one here, one on the top and one on the other side. That's what the rain fly attaches to, which works really well. I used it in the rain and the snow and it was really really good design. Functional, it's red, it looks good, no problems there. So the problem comes with the lack of other features which I don't like. I don't like this single roll of molly here that's vertical. It should be horizontal and there should be at least two. If it's going to be vertical it should be one on each side so it kind of makes a daisy chain and then you can have the cordage that goes along this way to strap stuff to it. This is like minimalist and it's really lacking. Like you can't attach a knife to it. You can't attach other Molly stuff to it because it's going the wrong direction and there's only one row of it. So it's really kind of is bummed. Here you see I have multiple rows of Molly and they're going horizontal. There's even Molly on the side pockets on both sides. And they also have Velcro, Velcro for attaching patches. And it has a really thick and sturdy carry handle. Look at this carry handle. It's like an inch and a half wide and it's thick. And there's one on each side too, right? So it's kind of, this is like a lackluster design. And I was kind of bummed that after I bought it, I was kind of noticing, I was like, huh, it's not all it's cracked up to be. Now I do like this down here that you can attach, say like, your coat, a sleeping roll, sleeping pad, any other type of kit, and it has huge adjustability, right? Those are pretty cool. Another good feature is these shoulder straps here that tighten and pull it tighter up on your shoulder. And the straps down here are really long, so if you're a bigger person, that it gives you high adjustability for like how big and wide your shoulders and your back is, right? Because the bigger person you are, the more looser this is going to have to be for you to get it on. And then there's also the waist belt, which I use it, but I keep it really loose. I don't really like need it that much. And maybe it's not actually necessary. Now on the other models, they don't have these side pockets, but they just have the belt attachment here. These are only on the Basin 36. The water bladder goes in the back here. But the problem with this design is, is there's nothing for it to attach to here. I don't know why that is. Now it has these things right here, like this mesh, that it doesn't, 
there's no hole in the bottom. So it's like, I don't know what this is for, for storage wise or whatnot, but then this one below it, it does have a hole through it, but it's really tiny. So what is it that you're supposed to fit through there? I mean, I don't know. Now you can put the water bottle or the water bottle tube, the bladder through this, but it's still going to flop around. So I loop, I loop it through this, but it still just all flops around. So I wish they had one of those plastic things that you can hook it onto, right? Because this is a hiking backpack. If you search hiking, this is what it was designed for. But I mean, the execution was just not there. And then the button that holds your rain fly down, it never stays closed. You can close it a million times and it will come open on its own. It is so flimsy, like you need barely any force. Like that's all it took. You only have to use one hand to undo it. It, I mean, thankfully the rain fly doesn't like come out of there and hang down. When I was at Cabela's yesterday, they actually had some of the red and white ones in stock and all of those buttons were undone too, but the rain fly wasn't hanging out. It's just, it's a poor design that could be improved, right? But it does have some good designs. Like here, you can attach more stuff to here. So say that you had, you know, coat, sleeping bag. If you already had something down here, you could use this to tighten it too, or whatever else. So it does have some good features, but it has some stuff I just don't get. And the execution on some of the stuff is kind of poor. There's this loop here. Like, what is this for? This disconnects and connects. Like, I have no idea what it's for. Like, maybe your sunglasses or something? Like, I don't, I don't have a clue. I really don't know what this is for. I, I read the directions, I read everything online, and some of the things I just can't figure out what the purpose of it is. But um, it's not a total loss, it is pretty functional. And I do like how you can adjust it on your shoulders really well, because I like to wear it kind of high. I don't like to like have it sagging down on my back. So I really like those shoulder straps on the top here that I pull all the way taut and then I only have the top chest thing pretty tight and then I have the belt pretty loose. So um, it has some good features, but the execution is just lacking. It could take some notes from the Camelback, like the Molly, not only the Molly, but look at how many pockets choices that it has. This is a pocket here that zips under here. There's two main compartments. This is the smaller pocket, which is like seven times bigger than this one. And it has these bungee straps on the inside that you can bungee stuff to. It's got secure storage. It's got the key thing. It's super deep to just put stuff in. It also has individual um, stuff that you can organize. Like this is like a deluxe backpack. Now, granted, I bought this used at a trade show, so I don't know what the original price is, but it's probably $200, if not more, because this is like the deluxe hiker's backpack. Look at how thick the straps are. They're super padded and super thick. They've got these little things, too, here that the longer part of the straps that you adjust these to and keeps them in place, it's got molly even all the way down on the shoulder straps here multiple carry handles that are nice and thick and durable. There's a hole for the water tube to come out and you can feed it through um, the shoulder strap. It still doesn't have one of those plastic things that you can hook it into, but um, on the bottom here, you can use some cordage. I'm sure that there is uh, cordage on here that you can use one of those plastic things to pull it taut and you can use these to put stuff on. You can use, uh, what is that called, bank line, or you can use paracord, whatever, to rig something up, no problem. There's just so much more features with this, but it still has the, you know, the waist belt, it still has the top straps, it still has the side straps, but it's just more feature laden, even though this is a little bit too deluxe for day hikes. So I would think that there is other models out there that you could get by with that if you didn't want a North Face one, this one, it, I mean, as far as features go, when you compare and contrast, there's so much more capability with this one than there is with this one. And this is the biggest one that they make for their hiking, whatever. There's also like the super deluxe big ones that you use for like, you know, you're gonna be out there for multiple days and stuff, but 
those are uh, like 40 something liters. Like this has got to be close to that too. So they do have more deluxe bags, but for this basin line, this is the biggest one that they offer and is the most feature laden. It's the most expensive it was 120 bucks. But I think that it just kind of misses the mark in a few key areas. Carry handle is flimsy. The Molly is lacking. This button is useless. The smaller pocket is pretty lackluster. It could be bigger. Um, don't have a clue what this is for, what it, what it's intentionally designed for. I know it tightens down, but like, what is it for? Is it for trekking poles? Like, I don't know. It didn't say in the directions. It doesn't have anything in the description. I have no clue what this little strap in the back for is. Like, what is it supposed to secure? Um, the water tube not being able to be fed through the shoulder very well, except for at the very top. So overall, I only give it like three stars, maybe three and a half, because I do really like the range life feature, which this does not have. But they do have those things. I saw them yesterday at Cabela's that they make them specifically to cover your backpack. They're $20, but for $20, I'll just, you know, I carry a black plastic bag. I'll just put a plastic bag over it and whatever. But if you wanted to buy those things at Cabela's, they do offer them. So this is just a uh, my further thoughts on the Basin 36 on some of the things that could be improved and hopefully uh, in the future after I get some more good use out of this, uh, there'll be something else for me to uh, upgrade to. But for right now, I've used this for the past three months and it does just fine. I just think that the execution of it could be a little bit better. So. Please stay tuned for more reviews on gear and equipment. Please subscribe for more.